As we discussed in part one of this course, injuries often happen outside of direct patient care. These typically involve lifting and transporting heavy loads, slips, trips, and falls. In this example, our technician, Daniel, uses appropriate body mechanics to lift this box of supplies from floor to counter height. He begins with his cart position close to the target destination for the load he plans to lift. He then positions himself with a wide base making him more stable. The feet are positioned slightly wider than shoulder width apart. He squats down and brings the load close to his body before returning to standing. Holding the load too far away from the body can exponentially increase the amount of force placed on the spine. He maintains the load at chest height taking care not to block his line of sight and approaches the target destination for the load. When placing the load upon the counter, he again assumes a wide base and keeps the load close to his body as he places it on the countertop. Notice that when turning to his right, he leads this movement by stepping with his right foot first. This strategy dramatically improves the efficiency of your movement and prevents undue stress on your spine. Remember, the risk of injury when handling materials with improper body mechanics increases substantially as the weight of the load you are lifting increases. This example shows our technician placing his cart away from the target destination. One might assume that he races to place the load on the counter because it's too heavy. It's important to remember that using poor form as demonstrated in this example reduces your efficiency, thereby making the load feel much heavier and more difficult to lift. Backbending and twisting should be avoided at all costs as these movements combine to place a great deal of stress on the spine and surrounding structures. Here we see our technician locking his knees in a straightened position as he bends down to lift. This is one of the worst lifting strategies that can be used to accomplish this task. Workers are often trained to quote unquote keep their back straight when lifting. However, this is often misinterpreted as a directive to keep the legs straight and exaggerate the curve in the lower part of the spine. This tip is actually meant to encourage squatting as opposed to stooping forward when approaching the load. Squatting allows one to bring the load close to the body, whereas stooping forward with the knees locked does not. You'll notice our technician has failed to bring the load up to chest height before turning toward the target destination. He then uses his thigh and low back to hoist the load onto the counter. This is not a safe technique and should be avoided.